What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Gang, this time around, I managed to get some items in from a retailer called Equifs. Now, if you jump onto our website, thehoxandtrend.com, remember lots of the stuff that I'm reviewing, you will see it on our website, so check it out. But here it is, it's the latest hoodie collection from Equifs. Um, Equifs are a retailer based over in Lincoln, by the way. But what I've done is I've kind of picked my top five favorite hoodies from Equifs. Also, um, I've kind of broken it down into sections where we've got hoods and sweats, more top picks that I really like from Equifs, items for less than 100, which I know is important for a lot of my followers who are looking for lower price items and not looking to spend that big boy cheese on clothing just yet which I totally get and we've got up to 50% off sale on Icarus as well so it's all laid out there for you to kind of have a look but these are some of my favorite hoodies and sweats from Equifs and I've managed to get in the two which I think looked the coolest without further ado let's have a look at these two items in much more detail yeah two seconds yeah two seconds so the first hoodie I'm gonna look at is the Bell Staff hoodie which you can see right here now if you guys know already I'm a big fan of Bell Staff I have been for a long time and I'm really feeling like people are not really appreciating Bell Staff English heritage brand they've been around for a long time lots of cool clothing really cool quality leather jackets and they've kind of really pushed a lot more of their normal casual wear clothing as of late and some of the stuff they've got is really cool so I did note that this Bell Staff hoodie in a salmon pink color was available online and I really really liked it now this could be a great alternative for something like Stone Island because obviously the Stone Island hoodies can be up to like I think around 220 230 for a hoodie this one is coming in at around 149 I believe which I think is not too bad I mean yes it's still a lot of money you can get lots of hoodies that are cheaper and if you check on Icarus website under the items under 100 there's a few hoodies in there that you can find also for around that um, less than 100 price so there are other alternatives really love how they've got the zips there and they've even got a little roller at the end of the zips there so that's a little nice bit of detail they are good quality really good quality zippers you can see the cotton on the inside really nice kind of brushed cotton feel to it we've got the bell staff tag on the inside i think my only kind of gripe with this hoodie is that they didn't cap the ends off with a little bit of the old metal at the end so i think they've just kind of used like a bit of a plastic there which i think is a little bit lazy they could have capped it off but nevertheless if you look at the stone island ones it, it's it's more or less the same they haven't put any metal on there at all or, or whatever obviously we're going into the spring summer now so we're not looking for heavy heavy hoodies so this kind of hoodie sweat could be a good option for you this spring okay now the next one we're going to look at is the cp company hoodie this one here is using uh, YKK zippers as you can see. Got the old YKK zippers there. Obviously what I love there is you've got the Oculus to the arm and as I've always showed you in the past, you can just, if you wanna take it off because you wanna wash it. Some people say you can leave it on, but I guess if it was me, you probably don't want it to get scratched around with the zippers in the in the washing machine and stuff like that so you can take the goggle off if you want and then you can just put it back on after you've finished your wash okay nice zip to the side there and you've also got the the oculus with the viewfinder there so you can see right through okay these poor little cords that you can see for the zip to make opening the zips a lot more easier you've got the cp company on the hood which is nice and discreet and you've got the little cp company patch label on the inside with their unique triangular stitch this hoodie is a lot more lighter than the than the bell staff hoodie so this is probably going to be a lot more for like spring summer yeah so that's that's also a nice touch cp company are meant to be using the certi logo next year 2019 so that's going to be a really nice touch for us to see because sometimes it can be really difficult to spot the fake so the, the fact that they'll be using certi logo is a very good shout okay so that's it guys that's it for the kind of comparison review you've kind of seen both of the hoodies and kind of see what they're saying if i was to go for either one personally i probably would go for the bell staff hoodie only because it's a little bit thicker and also if you want something a bit different from the usual stone island cp company i think bolstaff is a really good alternative personally okay so it's definitely worth giving that a shout and checking that out every week me and the team over at hoxton trend we're putting lots of offers on on the website so you can always kind of see what different offers are happening so obviously we've got pockets repertoire the men's website coggles is doing something off raffler raffler and so yeah lots and lots of deals on there so it's always worth checking it out okay so guys that's it for the review i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it informative Lots more coming, peace out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to sub, tell your mates, tell your friends, you're the queue, I'm out of there.